Nation. My name is Law Nation. L-A-W. We got news. Cowboys done picked up a player. <laughs> From the Himalaya, right? Mama and daddy was in the bricklayer, right? All right, so really appreciate everybody for tuning in. My name is Law Nation, L-A-W Nation. Daryl Worley, six foot one, 215 pounds. Uh, they picked him up. He's aggressive corner. He likes to fight for the ball. He's not somebody that we can say, okay, well, it's just what it is. It's the Dallas Cowboys. They doing their thing again. Mama, that go to that man again type of stuff. Nevertheless, we, we, we do have this situation where we have to look at everything from A to Z. And y'all know how this thing goes, right? Player evaluation is 365. So uh, as we look at this, what can we think about of this? Can he help out this team? Oh, he ain't no Charles Woodson. Oh, he ain't no prime time. No, don't look at him like that. Look at this brother as a person that's going to come into the system and come into the fold to help. That's all. Or to, to participate in this thing, as we call evaluation for the nation for a spot on the team. Remember what I said earlier. We ain't sitting around here folding up like lawn chairs. This is a new beginning. This is a whole new team. Oh, how many interceptions this brother had in the past? Well, I think his career is, is, is not ending or anything. He's still young. He's not long in the two for what have you. So we look at those parameters. We look at all of those things, if I can say it, <laughs> and those factors, right? And Cowboy Nation, when we think about it, what can we do with a person that's aggressive and fight towards the ball, right? <laughs> Put him out there on the field. His collective career INTs is what, five? And we're going to go over those five INTs. Really appreciate those who tune in to the nation. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Share, 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 share this information. Let me see if I can clear up something right quick on the bottom of my, my my screen there give me a few seconds while we do that bam there we go we got rid of it all right so <clears throat> let me see how you guys feel shout out time shout out to you john shout out to you jonathan shout out to you Inez. shout out to you pablo shout out to you john whitlock willlock really appreciate you wilcox as well uh tom what's good with you one way or another, full film breakdown will come out a little later on. But right now, let's look at the raw breakdown. Can we do that? <laughs> Can I get the DJ to play me some 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 different type of tunes right quick? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give me a few seconds here. I really appreciate everybody for tuning in. We picked up Daryl Worley's of the worlds, right? You know I'm going to say that, right? <laughs> let's go with it. Let's go with it. <laughs> It's, it's one way or another. Yeah. And we're about to kick it off. And I will say this, Cowboy Nation. When we think about this, when we think about how the, the Dallas Cowboys work with these type of guys and how they like to bring them up and especially how they like to put in the raw competition I say this time and time again, steel sharp and steel, iron sharp and iron, right? So when we look at this, let's look at everything from A to Z. We have, dare I say, <laughs> look at the bottom of your screen right here, face to face, mono e mono. That's what we want to see, right? We want to see somebody that can get into the face of the opposition. Trail, tuck them, hit them, get the ball in your head. That's from Galladay. Galladay is a big, tall, physical receiver, about six foot three. And look what that does. It makes everybody up. It makes everybody get into the face of the opposition. When you think about it, we need that dog. And this is against a prominent quarterback. Yes, that is Matthew Stafford. He scans. He looks to feel. He looks to his favorite receiver. And it's picked off. That's what you need to do. And look how everybody rally and chase. Oh, this is against Pat Mahomes. Oh, that's good. This shotgun formation, as you see right here. Look at the bottom of your screen. Mono e mono. Man to man. I'm going to put get them hands on you. Turn back. Look for the ball. Look for the ball. Break away from your man. Still fight through the echoes of the whistle. Pick up the fumble liar. 
run down the field. That's what we need to see out of this Cowboy Nation. It's not the fact that this guy is world class, but he's around the ball. Pick up the fumble, turnovers on down. That is what we need. That is what we need to exhibit and exude out there. This type of brother being around the ball. Oh, this is against another prominent quarterback. Why you pick out these quarterbacks, Law? Because we need turnovers, takeaways, INTs, any day, every day, and baby, twice on Sunday, be around the ball, fight for the ball, get the ball in your hands, and take it for some yards. That's what I want to see, Cowboy Nation. I need somebody to be like a dog. I want somebody to be angry. I want somebody to get the ball back into our hands. And that's what we need. Being around, giving a stiff arm, get some yak out there of it. Yes. That is what we need. Oh, this is against Aaron. Dirty Rodgers. He scans. He spans the field. He he throws the ball, John. It's picked off. <laughs> What I want people to do is look at the fact that he turned his head around and he finally saw the ball, picked the ball off, plucked the ball out of the sky. Look, Aaron Rodgers called out the play, scans the field, look left, look right, skate, throws the ball away. Uh Uh-oh, not today. (laughs) High point the ball. He's able to pull the ball down and look how everybody rally and chase around him. That is what we need to see. Oh, can he do it again against Kurt? My cousin, give me this ball. It belongs to me. I'm taking it back home to mama and them. I like to see that. Yeah. And watch how everybody feeds off of that energy. The under center. Yes, Kirk Cousins scans the field, drops back, play action, throws the ball. It's picked off, John. (laughs) Total pandemonium, right? (laughs) And everybody rallies the chase. I think this is against... Uh, oh, Phil, my receiver that can high point the ball good in and out of his release. And if you're going to go get a speed guy anyway, you could have did that in the latter rounds like you did. But we we will find out, though. Harry Roseman, uh, he gets he get a pass because he he managed to, to, to bet on himself and he came out on top. So uh, I'll see how this season go. But nine times out of ten, you don't win with track players. So you got guys. You guys got a lot of uh, wide receivers. That, uh, that that don't catch the ball well. Jalen Jalen Rager, uh, he's a good guy. TCU, shout out to him. But his comp was Nelson Aguilar, you know. And John Hightower, I love what he can do. I love all what John Hightower can do, but he can't catch. That's the craziest thing. See, um, here's what I like to pick. I like to pick because just in case, you know, Carson Wentz was to get hurt, you know, injured or whatnot. We got, you know, we'll just install Jalen Hurts. But (laughs) I look at it as, like, let's say if Dak Prescott gets hurt, who does the Cowboys have? Well, according to most scouts, they say that uh, the the kid that we picked up in the seventh round is a better thrower of the ball than the Jalen (laughs) Hurts. So let that sink in. Uh, My thing is Dak Prescott don't have a, a long track rate of being hurt or what have you. And it did shows that we do have uh, an Ezekiel Elliott. We do have a Tony Pollard that they can probably lean on until they figure that thing out. But injuries is a part of the game, and that's just how we got to look at it. You got to play up to the level of your best abilities, and you draft best player available, and you don't draft for needs. And we fell into that trap before with the old administration. We draft for needs, and then we get – you know, <laughs> we we fool around and look foolish out there. But man, I really appreciate you, man, for calling in. Thank you so much for uh putting your thoughts out there as it relates to the Eagles concepts and things like that. Uh always feel free to call in, my fam. All right, uh thanks for taking my call. Anytime, brother. Salute. Eighteen minutes with him. And uh, he, he still called in, man. So shout out to him, man. I really appreciate you all. Thank everybody for tuning in to the nation. Uh, for those who are new to this day, my name is Law Nation, L A W Nation. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this content, let that friend, neighbor, foe know where to go. And uh, hopefully, I'll have a shorter film breakdown a little later on of this guy. <laughs> Worlds, Daryl Worlds, you know, Daryl Worlds. 
Let's go, Cowboy Nation. Y'all know I got to see some flames of fire in the chat box. But you know I can't go with just this music, right? I got to get you guys crunk, right? I got to get you guys crunk. Can we do that? Hmm? Can we do that? Let me find my music uh, uh, handler here. And let's go. Let's go with this. It's just crunk music, man. But man, play it up, play it up. Really, 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 really appreciate the phone lines are off. So if you guys are calling me, you can't get through, but you can leave a text. Let's go. Y'all already know how this thing go. Five, four, three, two, one. Cover your ears. Yeah. Let me see the fire, baby. Let me see that fire all over everywhere. really appreciate everybody man they say a prize fighter continue to fight even when he's down but i'm gonna tell you guys right now keep your head high keep your mind focused and let's get this thing going one way or another keep your mind together and let's not fold like wallace or lawn chairs if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it to work day and night for it to give up your time and your peace and your sleep for it if all of your desires of it makes you quite mad enough that you don't get tired of it and it makes you hold all other things tardy and cheap for it if life itself seems empty and useless without it and all that you scheme and dream is about it if you will gladly go out and sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all terror of god or man for it if you will simply oh just simply go after the thing you want with all of your capacity strength and scargacity with faith hope and confidence and stern pertinacity if neither cold famish or famous or fame can turn you away from the thing you want and that's that super bowl let's go get it baby and remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's go. 